knock knock or something similar. So we've now come to the second part of the program. And I'd actually like to invite John's mother, Lois, and his brother, Russ, up to help with the presentation and the award. So we are now delighted to present the Jonathan B. Postel Service Award for 2008 to La Fondation Escola Latinoamérica de Redes, or ESLA Red. ESLA Red is a nonprofit institution dedicated to promoting information technologies in Latin America and the Caribbean. Based in Merida, Venezuela, ESLA Red's objectives are to develop and promote activities of formation of human resources and research in telecommunications, computer networks, and information technologies in Latin America and the Caribbean. They perform research and development on technology transfer and appropriate technologies to foster scientific, technical, and social progress in Latin America and the Caribbean. They consult on ICTs, drawing from an international team of experts and collaborators, developed over a decade of activities to cater to the needs of international organizations and local communities. Among its many activities, Esler Red undertakes research and development on ICTs with particular emphasis on the needs of the developing countries, and it organizes national and international courses, seminars, symposia, and workshops. ISAC has had the pleasure of working with Esler-Head for many years, enjoying a fruitful working relationship with its staff, including its president, Professor Emanuel Pietro Simoli, who's here with us this evening, and Director General Edmundo Vitale. In particular, ISAC and Esler-Head have collaborated on the successful Latin American Network training workshops, known as the WALK workshops, as well as several INET meetings. Esler Red have truly made a difference in the region under some very difficult circumstances. And on behalf of ISOC, I wish them much continued success into the future. So the award is actually um, listed here as to La Fondación Escuela de Latin America de Redes for their sustained efforts to bring scientific, technical, and social progress in Latin America and the Caribbean through information technology. Accepting the award on behalf of Esslerhead tonight is Professor Amano Pietro Simoli, and I'd like you all to join me in welcoming him and acknowledging the fantastic achievements of his organization. pleasure that I present this to you as uh, I first got it, and here you are. <laughs> Thank you very much, Louise. It's a very emotional moment for me and the organization I represent because we have been working for many years on the shadows, let's say it, without much uh, public fanfare or recognition because uh, we are in the third world and we don't get much limelight as tonight. <laughs> I think <laughs> this is a very special occasion and I am deeply grateful to the Internet Society, to the IETF, which has been supporting us for the last 10 years since I had the opportunity to attend the INET meeting in Geneva, where I had the chance of knowing personally Professor John Postel, which is a luminary, and I really feel very honored to be somewhat very humbly associated with his name. Well, first of all, I want to thank you all, and thanks especially to the IETF for having considered our organization for this very, very special award. As La Red is an organization of 
men and women from all over the world, especially from Latin America, but not restricted to Latin America. And in particular, in a very sadly note, I would like to rent a tribute to Mr. Steve Sisler, who was one of our early instructors and who passed away this year. Steve was a very important person, and I think many of you know him as an advocate of wireless technology and a proposer of uh, access to the technology all over the third world, and I am very happy to be considered one of his friends and one of his collaborators. As I read, is a very small organization, but is formed by people from many countries who have contributed to the idea that the internet is of paramount importance and it's a tool that has very great impact, especially in the developing world. I believe that humankind has seen great developments by the harnessing of different kinds of technologies, different kinds of communication medium or media, which are what makes a difference. I think that milestones have been achieved by harnessing different techniques, and the internet is at the foremost of these milestones, because internet is both a tool and a communication media. I think that the internet has enabled people from all over the world to take advantage of the knowledge of past and present colleagues from all over the world. And what makes a big difference that it is a two-way tool, it is a two-way medium. It's not only enables people from the third world to get access to technologies, to knowledge, to information from the utmost uh, technologists and developers, but it can also enable them to have heard, uh, their voices heard and to have them make a difference in the third world, in the, I mean, in the first world. I mean, this is a two-way tool that works both ways. And now we can feel, we can feel empowered and we can feel that we can also influence the whole world. This has no precedent in the history of humankind.